Caddis Maximus here, this time with the Fiskars 6-in-1 screwdriver. Seems like Fiskars is trying to expand beyond various, uh, basically, garden tools, hatchets, that type of stuff, as well as some, like, hobby type of things. Things like these rotary cutters with various shapes and styles of blades. Fiskars kind of has a, makes an eclectic selection of products, and one of them is this spinning handle 6-in-1 screwdriver. What I mean is kind of like precision screwdrivers, which have a rotating or spinning uh, back piece on the driver, this is a 6-in-1. Of course, 6-in-1s are these bits. It is missing the quarter-inch size bit. I'll order one online or nab one from another driver. But they're 6-in-1 because you have a small Phillips and flathead on one side for two, a number two and larger flathead and Phillips on the other side, so that's three, four, and then what you have is they have different size hexes here, quarter inch and five sixteen. So that's what makes these a six in one. This does have a metal insert that is actually a steel insert, not a cast zinc insert. And thought it was kind of interesting that they're making six in one drivers now. But they did try to do something a little bit different. They do advertise not to hammer on it. But versus so many 6-in-1 drivers, I have a classic one I did a video on a long time ago. I couldn't dig it up while I was trying to. That's a ratcheting one that kind of offers the similar advantage, although it's ratcheting. But this is, of course, really nice because you can use it, break the screw, and then you can thread the screw out while maintaining pressure, just like a precision screwdriver. As always, the deal with precision screwdrivers is the spinning handle. You break the screw, and then it's easy just to maintain alignment and pressure while you're sp spinning it out. Of course with normal screwdrivers it's difficult to do that with because there's too much friction so you gotta turn and then kind of release and turn again and it can pop out of the screw. A little bit annoying. So it's kind of interesting that Fiskars has done a similar thing here as the precision screwdrivers. I'll admit you can hear it. It's not it's smooth enough but not as smooth as like these old. This old American made rigid is like super smooth. This has a little bit of friction, but it's not too bad. And once again, just being able to grip a, break a screw and then be able to turn it out nice and easily with that spinning cap, I thought was at least uh, an attempt to make a tool that is super common, like a six in one, just a little bit nicer and a little bit more useful. We do have like a soft over mold here it is what I would call semi-triobular. So it does have essentially three different sides, but they're not super aggressive. And I guess that's my only real comment about it is if there was just a flat sides or just a little bit deeper, then you would just get a bit better grip purchase on it. But overall, I think you actually get a pretty good grip already considering just how large a diameter it is. And they do have some detents. I would have liked that they would have narrowed the front of it just a little bit more so that when you are spinning a fastener out, you're just gripping a smaller surface. Other than that, not a lot else to say besides this kind of caught my eye when I ran into it. It of course is a uh, used unit, but <laughs> barely used. But I thought, wow, you know, that's actually kind of a good idea to put a spinning cap on the back of a 6-in-1 screwdriver and actually I kind of think versus you know, precision screwdrivers or this, it'd be kind of nice to have a full set of, you know, full size screwdrivers that actually have spinning end caps, which could actually be pretty handy in a variety of situations. It's also really handy if you're trying to start a screw, say in the wood, where you have to push and get a bunch of pressure on it and you can, you twist and then you got to kind of release the pressure. It can be a little bit more annoying than having something like this where you're able to push hard and just continue to have that pressure on it while you're able to reset your hand. Definitely can prove itself useful. Anyway, really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Till next time, Caddis Maximus out.